This is Donnie, and this is Fluff, two naughty cats who run our entire lives. It takes a lot of activities to keep these two monsters satisfied, so in this video series, we're going to be documenting some of their favorite toys, including a few things that aren't technically cat toys, but they love anyway. Today we're doing a slightly different review. While both Donnie and Fluff are primarily indoor house cats, they do love to go outside, and we do occasionally let them go outside on a harness and leash. Even on a snowy, cold winter day like this, they're both fascinated by the outside world, and if they had a chance, they'd make a break for it outside. Now, cats are notorious for not wearing a collar or tag very well. They pull them off, they get snagged on things, they chew them. These two, I don't think we could keep a collar on them. Fortunately, there's another option. So each of our kitties has a little vet-implanted microchip right about in here that sits under the skin, and that's an RFID chip, so it can be read with a scanner and puts out a unique ID code. If someone ever finds these guys wandering around outside without any other identification, they can take them over to the nearest vet, get that chip scanned, and find out our contact information. And that's one of the best ways to get your pets back if they ever get lost. Now we have a lot of stray kitties in our neighborhood, and sometimes it can be hard to tell if somebody owns them, if they belong somewhere, if they're just out on their own, especially if they have what looks like an injury or they look kind of dirty. We had a cat like that recently who had a slight injury, had no collar or tags. We took him to the vet, they scanned him, could not find a chip, and they actually recommended that we take him to animal control. Now that's kind of the last thing I want to do. So I started canvassing the neighborhood with flyers, with Craigslist ads, with online ads, and eventually we found the neighbor. So that was pretty lucky. But if that cat had had a microchip, it would have been a lot faster and more efficient to find the owner. We had another kitty a couple weeks ago who was wearing a harness, but no collar, no tags, no leash. Looked like he had escaped. So we took him in, did the same thing, but again, no microchip. Eventually, through putting up ads and flyers, we found the owner three miles away. So that kitty was incredibly lucky that we were able to connect with his people. Now, in fact, we got Donnie much the same way. He started coming into my garage when I was working. He wanted to hang out with me all the time. He did have a microchip, and we were able to find his original owners. We took him back about three, four times, and after the fourth time that he tried to move in with us, the owners decided, you know what, he likes you guys better, you just keep him. So that's how we ended up with Mr. Donnie here. Anyway, what with all these stray cats running around, it would be useful to have a way to scan them ourselves without having to go to the vet. And that's why I picked up this Halo microchip scanner. So this particular unit has pretty good reviews. A lot of people like this design, which maximizes the antenna area. So this will send out an electronic pulse, read the microchip in the pet, and then display their identification number here on the screen. You can charge it by USB and you can actually hook it up to the computer and automatically look up those ID numbers on a database of lost and missing pets. So this is a great way to get other people's pets back to them and if a lot of people have these in their homes it's a great way to get your pet back if they go missing. Just push the back to turn it on then you can kind of hold it like this or like this and scan it across your pet. When it picks up the chip, it'll give a double beep, and we get our microchip number. Now, if you have one of these scanners, and you find a critter with a microchip, you'll probably still need to go to a vet to get the contact info for the owner. The vets subscribe to the databases that have all the information in them. For example, our cats are registered with AKC Reunite. If the owner has their contact info on file, they'll be contacted, and hopefully they'll contact you. It's a little kludgy and inconvenient, so it's probably faster to just go to the vet, have them scan the pet, that way you can call the owner directly and hopefully get that lost cat or dog home a little sooner. All right, let's try Donnie. All right, picked him up right away. Good boy. Now this microchip scanner cost about $50 and I would say it is well, well worth it. Now if you live in the US or in Europe, your pet will probably have a 125 kilohertz or a 134 kilohertz microchip implanted in them. Those are the two most common styles and this scanner reads both of those styles. So it'll read your pet in the US and it'll read your pet in Europe. It covers pretty much 99% of the critters that you find out there who have microchips in them. I should mention there is a third style of microchip, a 128 kilohertz, which is apparently much more difficult and expensive to read. Whoever came up with that microchip wasn't doing any favors to pets or to owners because fewer vets have those scanners 
way fewer people out in the public have those scanners, so use one of the standard chips and you'll have the highest likelihood of getting your pet back if they're ever lost. Once again, if your pet is not yet microchipped, please, please go out and do it. It will make it so much easier for somebody to find them, for a vet to scan them, and for them to get home to you. There have been so many cats I have found where it would have been way easier for me to find the owner if I'd had this microchip reader and if they'd had a microchip. So I would highly, highly recommend getting a microchip in your little fuzzy friends and giving them the best chance at coming home. I know this has been more of a PSA than a cat toy review. We'll return to those in the next video. Thank you for watching. Donnie and Fluff will see you next time.